these things together and use it to an advantage because now we can cover like a broader area, areas that will never really occur to me. Um, and I have read, learned to respect people's opinions, wherever they're from. I know that these opinions are relevant, and I have learned to respect it. I'm going ahead of myself and say, hey, hey, I am qualified to be a member of the academy, but yes, I am. <laughs> um, I have kept the rules, no plagiarism, no collusion and stuff, and I'm very proud of myself. I think that yes, I am qualified to be a member of the academy. Um, for my future needs, um, I am very good at communication, I'm good at confident speaking, uh, and then criticality, which is the basics of everything we have done so far. It's very important to think critically, to ask the question why at all times. Uh, you know, verify we have different areas where we have to use put the critical thinking skills to work. We have to verify the source of the information. We have to know, okay, where is this coming from? Is this a management stance? Is this something that for academic use? And stuff like that. Is this real science? Is this pseudoscience? And things like that. And it's necessary in a work environment and I think that these are the major things that I needed and I have been able to achieve. So this so far is my learning development in UL. Thank you. <coughs> Wait a minute. I haven't photographed it yet. I'll photograph it here. Do you have any questions for me, sorry? Toby. Yes. Which of the skills that you had to develop did you find the most challenging? Um, all of them have been challenging in different ways. I mean, all of them are important. Uh, criticality, reference, and all of them are very important. Well, I think that one of them that was very important to me was the writing skill. I had the Difficulty writing. I knew what to say. I didn't know how to show, um, you know, represent it in writing. And I think because I'm able to plan and know what I want, it's very essential because I can write very, I think, maybe not very well. I still have to write a couple of times before I get it right. But yes, I, I really appreciate that. Um, I think that's the major one. So, did you think drafting, you know, that process? Yeah. It, do you think that's what you'll do in the future? Um. There are going to be instances where I cannot do drafts for a long period of time. Um, but yes, I'm ready to do a couple of drafts for getting right. I don't think there's anybody that wrote it just once and go right. So yes. What would you say, you, you mentioned the differences between uh, Britain and Nigeria at yeah. the start. Yeah. What do you think the key differences between the academy here and the academy there? Well, um, here I think they have big on similar things because they didn't expect you to copy, they didn't expect plagiarism and stuff. But they haven't put in a lot to make sure that these things happen. Over here we have the turning in to make sure the students are not copying and then they pay very close attention to the referencing. I don't know if they paid very close attention to it, but I didn't feel any courses because I didn't reference right. So I think that yes, they say these things but they don't put it into they're not very conscious of it, they're not. Maybe in my university, I don't know about other universities. So the ideas are the same, it's just policed differently, yeah? Exactly, implemented differently. Yeah. You're, you're not suggesting there's any corruption in Nigeria, are you? <laughs> <laughs> so, any other questions? Yeah.